Hey everybody, welcome back to Chris Anderson Comics. I am here with my friend Jerome Cabanatan. How you doing, man? Doing good. Uh, doing good. Uh, thanks, thanks for having me. Uh, it's fun to be able to talk about this book with your cover. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I did draw this cover. Actually, it was about almost a year ago uh, to the day that I drew it because, well, 11 months ago because I drew it at LA Comic Con and that, uh, at, at the time of taping here, we're like almost in November. And that was in early December, so yeah, it was like eleven months ago that I drew this. Yeah, that was that was that was that was really cool. Uh, that that was really cool, especially uh, like uh, uh, like uh, Rick. Uh, Rick was telling me, he's like, yeah, he's a monster. He's he, he's drawing it right now. And oh, Rick Lopez was, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's drawing it right now, and he's like, I'm not going to show you. And I was like, I was like, okay. And then wait. wait, wait. <laughs> um. Yeah, uh, so you had a you had a few different people do covers uh, for this issue of uh, Tree vs. Fox. Who else did uh, covers for this? Uh, yeah, so uh, 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 Rick Lopez, Craig C.K., uh, uh, Misimo, and uh, Kevin Anthony Catala. Right on. So that, that's was, a uh, that's a murderer's row of uh, yeah. It was it, it was it was good. So like uh, so so Craig's like we can probably. Put this up in posts or whatever but the, yeah totally uh craig's uh craig put up like a like a like a he, he had a he had a shang chi he had a shang chi homage uh yeah rick had a dark knight returns homage and uh kevin had a had a, a lone wolf and cub homage uh and uh who, who's it who am i missing who am I missing? good and then and then uh you actually have my have my son's favorite like he, he like oh, when, really? when he when he when he, when, he, when i showed when i showed him all the covers uh when i showed him all the covers he was like he's was, he was, which, which which one do you like and he's like, he's like i like this one and, uh, <laughs> and then uh and then me see he uh like he just he he put on he he put on his whole thing he's like he's like okay give me the tree give me the fox and then that like me see it up right and, and yeah and, and that's what he did and that that's that that's what i was looking for and i was uh uh they they just they just look great i was uh uh the, the, I, I was floored by every by everybody's work so that was uh so thanks right yeah, of course they look great all together man and um people can still get uh copies of this right mm -hmm. yeah so uh i'm getting my uh i'm on like I'm on like the last the the last few of the first printing. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get uh, go, gonna go get a second printing uh, next month. Uh, next month I just I just have a I have a show early November that I just kind of want to push these all out and then and then go get another one. And I don't know maybe I might make up another cover or so just because it's been a year. But sure, I like I like the book. If uh, it's uh, I enjoyed I enjoyed making it. I, uh, well, when I'm at when I'm at cons and stuff, uh, I do tell people I say that uh, this, if you like fights in your comics, this is the best choreographed fight that you'll see in a comic. And uh, if you see, uh, there might be some better drawn ones, but if you see a better choreographed fight, let me know because I want that comic. Better than the one that we did in uh, in Image Grand Design. Oh, that that was that that's the other one. When I when I tell when I tell people, it's like, oh yeah, if you if if you're, if you're unsure and you want to take this, is another one that is that is the best choreographed fight in comics. And uh, I threw that one, I threw that one at them too. So it's like, if you like if you like more like like uh, like wrestling, here you go, bam. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll do that. We'll do that one too. And I, uh, uh, I look at that. I look at that fight every day. It, it, it's right. It, it's right on. It's right on my. It's, it's right on my wall. So I'll pop it up here too. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think anybody choreographs a, a fight in comics better than you do. Um. And you have, uh, a, a, before we get into this, you have another, um, you have a Kickstarter for a new book that you're about to put out. Uh, what is it called? Yes, uh, I have a new book coming out. It's called Everyday Black Belter. It's a collection of, uh, collection of like various comics from the mind of a martially artistic family man. So uh, I had Black Belter, which was, it was kind of like a, it was like my Mad Magazine. Uh, mm -hmm. It was a bunch of strips, short stories, uh, auto bio stuff. Uh, so I had I had I have five I had five issues of those, and I was and I I've been uh, I've been stacking stacking up some strips to 
to put in between. Uh, it's it's basically going to be uh, it's a commentary on on work life balance. Uh, yeah. I did. I uh, I'm I'm a taekwondo instructor. I was uh, I was a national team coach when it uh, but when COVID hit, that came to a screeching halt. But it was pretty. It, it kind of it came as a blessing because I did feel like I was uh, taking a lot of time away from uh, just because of sports, uh, taking time away from like from my own kids and my own family, and uh, I was feeling kind of burnt out. Uh, but when it came to uh but when covid hit i got i got all my time back uh, uh with my family and i got to i got to watch my kids grow even more and uh and you know i couldn't be on the mats the same way that i that i normally was so i did take a step back in in terms of that responsibility but i didn't i didn't stop doing taekwondo uh, i I, mm -hmm. I found ways to do it and um i I, and then I, I put a lot of my energy into making comics and, you know, yeah. I, uh, I was, you know, and that the whole image grand design thing, that's a whole other episode, right? There's yeah. a whole other episode, uh, that could be like a multiple episode, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I made, I made comics for, uh, for the after school program that I used to run, uh, downtown and just to repeat a lot of the things that I say on a daily basis. So, uh, that's called, that's, that's tree kids of troop 44. The, mm -hmm. that was, that was the first one. Uh, so like it, uh, this ended up becoming like a little universe. So I had this, which spun off into, uh, ABCs of Haya, which is like, it's like my Dr. Seuss meets Wu-Tang book. Right? <laughs> it's an alphabetic rhyming, uh, alphabetic rhyming adventure, but, uh, uh, about trying, failing and trying again. And then that's where, and then that's where tree versus Fox came in. So it's the same universe, uh, same universe, but this one is my 44 page black and white martial arts super fight. And then the one after that was my, my answer to Dogman, which is Haya the handbook. And it's about, uh, one of the trees who wants to get his next belt, but he keeps getting distracted because he keeps wanting to make comics but he doesn't know how to make comics either so the whole book is about him learning how to do his moves while learning how to make comics so then there's like a lot of uh cartooning exercises drawing exercises and uh, oh wow yeah and then there's and then there's there, there's this stuff like, because kids love this stuff right oh yeah 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 flip booking yeah the, oh the, yeah there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of that stuff so yeah so it's it's same same universe, uh, but there's four books and they're four completely different books. And uh, I really like it because there's really no rules to it. And even even something like uh like my next panel press books, One Stone. Uh, yeah. This was actually the this is actually the book that these kids read. Oh, okay. <laughs> so so it's 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 a book in this universe. And it was a book in that universe before I even knew what this book was going to be. It was just, I, I needed a placeholder name for a book that they would read. And yeah. One Stone was it. And I didn't start making it until after I had a couple books out of, of, the, of the other stuff. That's how it works sometimes, man. So yeah, is the yeah. new book, is the new book that you're kickstarting part of this universe too? Or is this the first time uh, you're no, kind of venturing it's, out? It's, it's out, it's outside of that universe, right? It's, okay. uh, I'm, it, that that book uh, that book is me right that that book sure. is me it, it's it's uh it, there's some auto bio kind of stuff in there but it, it's not really about it's not really about like just that it's about me balancing balancing uh, my work and my life and uh the weird comics that i make right and uh, how it affects how it affects everything else right uh, i think it's it, i think it'll be a really, really good. Uh, it's a good. I like to think about it as a really good, like bathroom book, right? It's a coffee table book, bathroom book. Like you can, yeah. you can, you can read the whole thing. You can just flip it up to a random spot, and I'm like, oh, let me read this part, and and it'll and it'll work. Uh, I, I'm I'm excited about it. I'm in, I'm interested in, in 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 how it in how it plays out. I actually have like some proper original art for it which is kind of which is kind of uh it, it's newer for me right that that's newer for me this actual the actual first book here this is i i drew this with my i drew this with my finger on uh 
uh, on Illustrator on on the, on the trackpad on my MacBook. <laughs> really? Yeah, two two hundred forty eight pages with like with, with with this guy right here. Whoa. So, <laughs> yeah. So it's uh so like each book's each book's different. Uh, each book's different. Each book's fun. Uh, but I re the purpose of Tree versus Fox. What I wanted was, uh, I wanted uh, I wanted my version of Destroy. Uh, oh, okay. Scott McCloud Destroy. So like That's, one but big fight scene, sort of. Yeah, I, I think I wanted uh, big fight scene. I wanted to use some powers. I wanted to bash through trees. I wanted to, uh, like, like. Like I wanted, I wanted to make it better than 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 Death of Superman, and I'm I'm pretty sure the, the fight's better than Death of Superman. So let's let's crack it open here. Um, how did you draw this book? Mm, uh, well, I I did this I did this digitally. Okay. Digi digitally, except for except for the actual, uh, like the the last the the last sequence, the like the last three page last three page fight sequence. Okay. Uh, uh, I wanted to admit, have some kind of original art. I wanted to have some kind of original art, but I didn't. I when I work on a big page, sometimes I I don't I I don't trust it. I don't trust it. So I actually work. I actually work panel by panel. Uh, panel by panel. So here, this this was the original art for that. And, uh, oh, okay. I did, it, I, did, I did it panel by panel. I'm sorry. So that's, no, these are upside down. But whatever. So. Yeah, I did them panel by panel, and these are all these are all ball, ballpoint. Oh, okay. You know, ballpoint on on dollar store bristle that I that I cut up. I, I, but uh, but yeah, so and that was like also another thing is like trying to price trying to, for me uh, being relatively new, trying to price out like a like a like a full original art page was yeah. Uh, now it, 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 it's scary and intimidating, but I have no pro uh, but I have no problem. I have no problem saying, oh, "Yeah, sketch card is twenty five bucks," right? Like yeah. I have no I have no problem saying that. But then, uh, like to say like that this page is is three hundred or whatever. I'm like like e like like right. like I'm like is it is it is it is it? But if each panel and I'm doing it well, twenty twenty five, like then I had no problem doing that. So that was a way to kind of like you know. Uh, hack my own insecurities, right? Well, I'll tell you the way you 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 you're pricing out your time is what mm -hmm. you're doing, which is more valuable than anything. So you you can you can price out a page. I wouldn't I wouldn't shy away from that. So, so that, what that's... what's happening here when we open this when we start this story? Okay, uh, when we when we start when we start the story, it's actually so it plays off like you don't have to have this first book, but sure. it plays off plays off this book so this book is about the, a group of trees uh working uh working together to prepare for their first martial arts tournament right and this was uh this page is uh years after that years after that tournament it's not but you know the tournament didn't complete because the world got shut down ah. <laughs> right the world got shut down so it was it it was it really is just playing off of uh, a lot of the same feelings that uh, that myself and a lot of uh, a lot of my athletes did, like when when COVID hit, like they're they're prepping for like they're prepping for like worlds and they're prepping for like Olympics and everything, and everything got shut down, and that put a screeching halt to a lot of uh, a lot of people's stuff because they don't they didn't know what to do, mm -hmm. and I thought actually putting that in the book was like it was a nice way to be like okay let, let's wipe it clean and just have a fight. Right, just have a fight because a lot of people pivoted uh, pivoted their lives, uh, and I'm not just talking about my own life. I'm talking about uh, or, or or my sport. Uh, people pivoted their whole lives just just over the pandemic, and I don't think I don't think I have to explain to the readers now, you know, about about when the whole world shut down. Right. It, it doesn't have to be COVID. It doesn't have to be anything like that. But if I say when the world shut down, they'll be like, oh yeah, I remember that time. Right. Yeah, and it, it just and it just gave me an excuse, and uh, you got the uh, you got the fox guy, you got the fox guy Burad. He's he's running, and he's just checking his social media, and everyone's uh, uh, everyone's still talking about their fight, right? Because right. they they they'd be in their teens now. Oh, okay. 
So they okay. So, so it's, it's it's some time past that past the last yeah, book. Yeah. So you can see him. You can see uh, the fox is running, checking his phone. There's a lot. There's a little highlight on his uh, highlight on his phone for stuff that's turn is happening. People are talking crap in the comment section. Some people say they got to fight back. Right, and then he and then he meets the tree again. Okay, in in, in the woods because that's where he's going. Why fight. why a tree? Uh, why a tree? That you know what that that's a that's actually a funny question. Is because when I first wrote this book, it was because uh, it was I was trying to promote the after school program that I was running. Uh, it, like I, it was it was after I finished. Like I stopped competing and I needed to put my energy into something and I needed to, like they needed a job, right? So I had started an after school program. Uh, like I, I'd pick up the kids, pick up the kids from school, and and we'd walk two by twos and we would just go. And to advertise the program, I needed to make a poster, and I didn't want to use. Uh, if I looked up, if I looked up taekwondo or martial arts anime cartoon on Google, the same exact pictures would come up for that every other school used. And I wanted to be different. I wanted like like I'm not the same as other schools. I'm a I'm a different school. So right. Uh, so I drew my own. Uh, I drew my I uh, I drew my own on the trackpad, <laughs> or actually yeah. it was a mouse. it was a mouse still. Uh, I, I drew those and then I made the I made the poster and some of the kids started asking questions. Some of the kids started asking questions about like, uh, like why are they yellow? Why do they have no noses? Right? And I, and I was like, oh, because they're it, it, uh, I said I don't know because they're they 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 came from a fruit and they're they're, they're like trees and I was just saying stuff. Sure. And then, they're like, oh yeah, yeah, cool. And then the, the kids like, like Groot, and I was like, I guess, sure, <laughs> right? I was like, I was like sure. Uh, and then, and then that's that's what it is. And like, you know, and at the at the school that I at the school that I was at, there's like, there was, uh, there's a couple of trees that there's a couple of like palm trees that we have like in pots, and uh, mm -hmm. it, uh, like, these trees have been like close to dead. But they always come back, like they always like come back alive. Like like you'll see like like a branch sprouting out and all. And I was like, okay, these are the trees. Like these 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 are the trees. And uh, so the the school is called uh, Young Chung Taekwondo, and it was at the corner of is at the corner of of, of Vaughn Road and Saint Clair West. So the character the characters the main characters the boy and the girl are named Vaughn and Claire. So uh, okay. it's all it's it. It's all an homage to, uh, uh, like, to the school and the people that that helped make me, uh, really, right? It it it's a it's a love letter to them. It's a love letter to everything, and uh, I'm always 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 uh, gracious uh, for that. And uh, but yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Like, why why it's a tree? And that's amazing. And for the same reason as like people ask, like, why is this tree? And like, the I was like, because I didn't want to draw a turtle. Yeah. Like, right. <laughs> But I do want to draw a turtle too. There's a turtle in somewhere in the universe there. But yeah. So we basically get into this fight right away with these guys. That's right. So like if you can see uh uh the main part is they're they're fighting over this this rock, this this stone that they have. And it's uh uh we they talk about it, it's called the keystone, which is it's a it's a magic stone that is that that amplifies intention. Okay. That ampl that amplifies your intention, and like that's where people can start creating their superpowers and all that kind of stuff, like through uh, through knowing how to hone in that energy and that magic. But for the most part, people in the universe do not believe in its power. That they think it's hokey. Right? It's something for like focus and meditation kind of deal. Yeah, it's like, but people, but a lot of people think it's like, oh yeah, whatever. But uh, the thing is, it's it actually works, right? It actually works. It's just people don't have the energy to uh, to focus their attentions to something, right? Like just like just like when people, uh, it's an analog to like anybody thinking about like like hard work and intention and energy and all that kind of stuff. And people will say it's like, oh, uh, right, right, just right, just just they can have an intention of something. Like yeah, that doesn't really work, but. If you don't put the energy behind that intention to actually do work, then yeah, of course it doesn't work. But if you have the intention and you put the energy into that intention to do the actual work, then of course it works. You can't 
it can't not work. Right. right. And, and that's uh, that's the thought that I have in my head all the time while I'm doing this uh, before they're getting into their powers. Right. And that's why there's, right. a, there's, there's a there's a lot of crackle. There's a lot of yeah. crackle in this. Right. And sometimes I'll put crackles with like tails and stuff in it. So it kind of feels a little bit more tangible and or I'll put like a little I'll put like a like a shine thing on on the crackle so it looks like you can feel it and it's not right it's yeah so yeah. there's a lot of things there's a lot of things in my head like this is a lot of this stuff is for me and then this is my this is my Todd spread yes right? Right? This, is, this is this is my this is my Todd spread so basically uh the left side is uh what went on in the tree's mind before that first tournament and then on the right side what went on in the fox's mind before that tournament so uh the left side is he was allowed to just grow and enjoy his art and then it went well and then the other one had kind of like uh, uh a high pressure hockey dad right right sure. had a high, high pressure hockey dad and it didn't this, go well this is the cobra kai side yeah and and, and that, that that that's that's what it is right right and then and then they fight him. Right, so. so now they both have so is there one there's is there one uh keystone uh well it, there's it's it's stone and then like like he has one uh the the fox's bracelets they're made out okay. of keystone like, so that's sort just, of the thing that they kind of focus on, focus their intention on. That's right. So right. That, that's why that's why he has these these weird powers, right? It's like when he was a kid, uh, when he was a kid, he he was learning how to meditate. Like, the, the fox was learning how to meditate instead of learning how to fight. He thought, and he thought it was because he, he thought his dad thought it was weak, but you know, it was more because he wanted he wanted his son to have powers. Right. And so then that's. That's when he gets to do that whole, that uh, that transformation, uh, and he splits up. And that was, yeah, that was actually really multiple cool. versions of him. Yeah, that was that was that was, that, that was fun to draw, right? Uh, yeah, there's some really cool panels I, in here. Yeah, I I, I always I, love these like multi fist punching, you know, sort of panels. Oh, the the, the Hajime no Ippo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. like that. I did, and I did enjoy drawing the um, uh, the top panel on the right. That's uh, that's that's the Wolverine. That's the Wolverine. Oh yes, it cover. is. Yes, it is. So I had that, and I wanted like, and I was like, okay, how did they get to that point? How did they get to that point? And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go handicap on this, right? And then just just put just put sound effects in before they get into that little rumble piece here. Right? Yeah, but, yeah. So they get there, and then I was always thinking in my head when I was a kid, I was like, okay, if you got attacked with that, with four ninjas, and they're all over you, how do you get them off you, right? So then I was like, okay, so this was a, this was a fun puzzle piece that, uh, that I got to do. It was a fun puzzle piece, because uh, I actually didn't do any of the pages, uh, any of the pages of this book in order. Okay. Uh, I, I, I drew, uh, I think it was, um, there was a Matt Allison... Uh, there was a Matt Allison episode that Eli did. He did he did like an interview with Matt Allison. Eli Schwab, yeah, yeah. Uh, Eli Schwab, and then he was uh, and uh, he was talking he was talking about Cancor and and how he made it. And he said how the way that he starts is he just wants to draw. He wants to make sure to fit in the cool stuff, so he draws the cool stuff first. And that that's what I did. And I forget okay. which which pages or which panels I did first because some I did as a full page, some I did as partly panels because I didn't. I didn't know how this stuff was going to fit together. I just knew I wanted to make a really, really good fight page. Right. And so, so uh, I think I, I'm pretty sure I drew that that uh, Wolverine cover piece separately, and then I fit those in. Uh, I fit I, I fit the rest of those things in when I figured out how I wanted the fight to play out. Right. So it carries on, and I love how you have these sort of like moment to moment. Um, panels that's sort of what you did in um image grand design as well yeah um, which is you know you're you know being a fighter like i was saying um in a, a different episode that we recorded like your your fight scenes are some of the best that i've ever seen um 
because you know you 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 do this you know most days you are a fighter you understand yeah. how to do this or it's a martial like, artist yeah. i should say <laughs> well, it's well, yeah it's like it's whatever like i i like uh i made like i it, my my career has been taekwondo but i've always been uh, uh i've always been drawn to like to just all fighting so like whether it's whether it's filipino martial arts is the, like mma stuff pro wrestling kung fu movies uh uh just 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 right uh, any regular action movie it's uh i've always liked seeing motion right mm -hmm. that was one of the reasons why I, I do like the uh uh like the wolverine miniseries really did get to me when i was younger uh because you know, Wolverine's the baddest dude, and then there's this one scene where, uh, where like an old guy beats him up with a, with a wooden sword, and just and just traps him and suckers him and like just outdoes everything that he can do. Uh huh. And I remember looking at it and and trying to think, like trying to prove that. Uh, you know that no this wouldn't have happened because wolverine would have done this and and i'm looking at it, it was like no wolverine's doing everything that he was supposed to do and i'm and i'm looking i'm running the play i'm running the sure. play it's like, sure. like I'm, I'm, I'm i'm 12 years old and i'm running the play in my head I was like no he did everything but this guy's just better this guy yeah. and, and it, it 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 threw me for i remember it, it threw me for an emotional loop because like i i couldn't see how Wolverine could just fair and square get beat up by this old guy, but it was right there on the page. Yeah, he did everything that he could, but he was right there on the page, and I was, and I was like, and I, and I always have that uh, that feeling in my head, right? I know, like, like Jack Kirby did a lot of that that kind of stuff too. Like his his fights made sense. Um, like Sterenko had a lot of very good panels. I remember going through it. It didn't make the same amount of sense to me. I think I I think when it comes to uh, putting a uh, like sequencing a fight and making sure that it made sense, um, like there's uh, there's a like this it's Frank Miller right it, it it's Frank mm -hmm. Miller then then Jack and then like yeah there's a uh, and then I think maybe now it's like. Like Daniel Warren Johnson, mm -hmm. like he's like he, like like he knows he knows how he knows how he at least knows how 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 like how like wrestling works, right? He's he's right. He's, he's yeah, he's really good. Yeah, he took stuff, a deep dive into that stuff. Yeah, it's and that that kind of stuff is is great. So yeah, I, I, all my fights, I want to be able to to be able to show. I want to be able to walk uh, walk the reader through it over and over and over again. Yeah. You don't often see the elbow punch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In a book, and I love that. Yeah, you don't. You don't. It's uh, because I think it's because it's, it's, it doesn't look as as good on paper as like a punch or a kick because like uh, punches and kicks, punches and kicks, they're they're so long, right? Yeah, like, but it uh, feels real and it feels like, claustrophobic and tight. You know, it's like yeah. even if you even pushed it in further and changed the angle of it, it could even be more claustrophobic and tight. But oh, it's, yeah. you know, it's a real maneuver and it's it's yeah, cool no, to it, see it, it in it, there. It, it's a great it's a great shot, and that, that's uh, I wanted to be able to I wanted to be able to show a lot of things. Uh, so I, I think I think especially with the rise of MMA as as, mm -hmm. as a popular sport, um, uh, like showing proper showing proper grappling uh in it, like in uh, in media it, i think i think it i think it's important to have or else it just it just won't it just won't feel right like right you can't have some can't have somebody do a rear naked choke wrong on paper because there's too many people that already know that move right that yeah like if it Right. If it, if it looks wrong on paper, then it then then it's off. It, if it looks wrong in a movie, it it looks off, right? Like they yeah. do, they 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 the like the sleeper holds in 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 pro wrestling, they're they're they look different than they did before because people know what it's supposed to look like now. Right? Yeah, it's funny. I was doing some um some work for like the Department of State, um like kind of like 
not comics, but some like training videos for agents and things like that. And there was one in there where an, an agent had to go and, and punch this person who, this perp who was coming at them. And I did a total comic book punch on this guy. Um, and they came back to me and they were like, you don't punch with your right and lead with your left foot. <laughs> like ever you know like you step into the punch and i was like but that doesn't look right and i drew it and i drew it again and i was like it still doesn't look right and i'm just i guess i'm just so used to drawing like like western comic book punches you know which is like you know throwing the whole body you know that way yeah. that <laughs> that's what i ended up drawing <laughs> same things with same thing happened with like um like the way that i had them holding the gun and i had them like holding it like this, you know, like with a hand on the bottom, yep. but you actually put your hand behind your hand, I guess. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea either. And so I like had to get to a read, like they had to school me on all that stuff. So, you know, it's little things like that are important, especially if, you know, you're talking to somebody or you're showing your, your reader is somebody who knows. Mm hmm you know, sometimes you can you can throw all that stuff to the side and you can invent yeah. a weird sort of weapon or a weird move yes. or whatever, but that's that's the art part. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that's the art part of martial art, right? It's 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 called martial art, not martial copy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Man, this is a great this is a great shot right here. This sort of like heel kick. What do you call that? Uh, well, sometimes people will call it like a spinning wheel kick. I just call it a spinning hook kick. Just okay, it's a hook kick and it spins. Yeah, um, but like, yeah, I like that, and I really enjoyed like because uh, I right now I'm I know there's a lot of people that do their lettering first, right? Yeah, they, they do their lettering first to make sure that there's space. Mm -hmm. uh, I I do all for me. I just do all the lettering last. Uh, that, that's that's just something that I do. So like I'll I'll do I'll usually do the I'll do the book and then I'll go back and I'll do the lettering, including like like uh, like sound effects and stuff like that. Uh, but I uh, I do really like the doing doing the sound effects like and and I have uh, I have fun spelling. Right, <laughs> I have fun uh, spelling the sound like I. Yeah, the automatopoeia. Yeah, the like, mm -hmm. like, whoosh, like I don't yeah. see, I don't see that a lot, right? I like you hear you see crack and kaboom and sure the shorthand. All, yeah, like all that kind of stuff. I love, uh, I love uh, verbs as sound effects, right? I love verbs as sound effects. Like I know, I remember I had a good long conversation with a. Adam Lemna about stab. Yeah. Right? Yeah. About because uh, because uh, uh, I know he used stab in in Relic Hunter and I think in in Weapon X I I did a page and I I used that as a sound effect I I used a stab and twist right so then so like the the the, the lettering like twisted right so it was right it, yeah. was, it was something that I thought was like oh I'm, I'm clever I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Right? So it, it's just, it's, it is one of my ways that I can, I like to have fun with whatever the fighting is. Like, sure. the, like, he, like you can see he's, so he's kicking up top. You can see. Yeah. And, and I like this one. Nope. Nope. Yep. He just, just, just puts his foot on top. Nope. Right. And nope. it's a, it's a very, uh, that's a, it's a common, uh, like Taekwondo move is like, because it's very, uh, uh the sport is very kick heavy. Yeah. So, so when so when there's the, when there's a lot of when there's a lot of kick, one of the main moves is they they'll cancel the other kick by like either either stepping on top of it or like lifting up from underneath. It's not something that is normally exciting or people show, right? But it's yeah. it's a lot. Part it's 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 the parrying and fencing, right? It's it has the same it has the same concept, right? and and people just want to see the stab part in fencing, but like the that skirmish part that that's that's super super complicated right and uh yeah. i like being able to show like that like when you see nope and kind of like just negate the whole thing but yeah 
you well, when you nervous. have when you have such a long fight scene, you, you give yourself room to breathe and to be able to show things like that. You know, if it, if you got one page to show a fight scene, you might not have the ability to do that. But when you have it, you know, across an entire book, you yeah, know, there's exactly. plenty of room to show off everything. And, you know, it makes it's it's really making me think just looking at it, like how to better choreograph things, you know. And uh, I really like the in like those the previous pages, uh, uh, the the swoop part, right? So there's that whole part where they they split up, right? Uh, yeah. They they split up at the beginning. The fox splits up at the beginning. So he's basically fighting four guys. But when you see, uh, when they when he gets sucked back up, it's like you get more power than you can handle. Yeah. You get more power than you can handle. So. I like being able to show those parts in in the book of you know you're you, you split up you fight and then when they combine again it's like it, you can tell that yeah. there's some kind of a level up and some kind of a a, a panic it's an overload yeah. yeah yeah so all of these you did just like on their own and then uh yeah like so I I did those so those were those were on, I did those on Procreate, like each panel on Procreate, uh, like as a square. And when I, when I figured it out, then I just, then I put, then I put them, I see. then I put them on a page and then I put the borders around it afterwards. Sure. Uh, because I wanted to see it. I wanted to see it move. And that's what, that's one of my favorite. That's also one of my favorite things to do is uh, whenever I'm drawing any kind of action or a fight. And um, I like, I like playing with the panels. Yeah, like with yeah, like you I, do. I like, I like the way that like I like I like breaking them. I like, I like moving them. Uh, basically, like parallel to the action line. Uh, yeah, like to, to the speed lines. It's, I I think it's I think it's fun. I think uh, I I, I think I one of the first times that really clicked to me was I was reading uh, uh, Tezuka's Buddha. Right, and there's there's a part there's a part there where someone gets hit or someone gets a rock thrown at them or something and it and it bounces around and the guy like flies through like a couple of panels and i was like oh my god you can't oh, you can do that yeah yeah right? yeah like, like you can do that and i was like oh yeah and uh and i like having things fit in right and uh, i don't see uh in this one i don't see enough uh i don't see enough camel clutch in the in, <laughs> in, in, in a in a comic and it's uh it, it's fun right it, it it's fun it's one of those it's one of those like uh, pro wrestling moves that are like yeah no that stuff actually hurts like, yeah I, like like i remember i couldn't even let my brother do that like lightly on me because that stuff hurts oh yeah you'll and uh then, you'll uh you know get a good lifelong neck injury doing that yeah and it's uh <laughs> and I, I thought it was clever too because uh uh like in in the writing because like it's like yeah, the right the 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 corner before it is when when he's pulling it up is like you know it's like you got to keep your chin up. Oh yeah, yep. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's like, yeah. you know, like, like you more problems come out from the sky, and then a guy drops on your back, and like you got to keep your chin up, and you're getting yep. Right? So this was a this was a fun like this was fun to write about too, because at first I thought maybe I was gonna make this like almost wordless at first, but I was like yeah. no. Like, no, I have things to say. <laughs> I have yeah. things to say. So. Yeah. Yeah, my heavy metal stories for Something Seems Off was going to originally be entirely wordless, but it's a pretty complex story where I had to throw in some sort of backstory so you understood mm -hmm. sort of what was going on at some points. And so I had to come up with clever ways of working in words, you know, to that. Yeah. So I had her sort of like writing, yeah. uh, writing in dirt, and things yeah. like that when I when I actually had to like explain things. Oh, and uh, here, here actually like in and and, th and throughout the book, if you look at like if you look at like the like the background trees, yeah, right, the background trees. That's your fault. Uh, that's from uh, uh, that was from the uh, your like the He Man bootlegs. Oh, <laughs> it was it was, it was the He Man bootlegs. I remember I was I was looking at it and. Because all of this stuff, I drew back again. I I I just draw the fight first, and then I'm like, okay, see what fits after. And 
I, I don't know. I think I was, I think I was about, I don't know, like three quarters of the, of the way of like, of just like having the fight laid out, uh-huh. the fight laid out. And I was like, I was scared of like the backgrounds because I'm like, I'm like, I can't, I'm not going to sit there and just draw and render all these trees. Yeah. And I, I was just, I was just flipping, I was just flipping through some, I was just flipping through like, uh, like a bunch of like, uh, my indie stuff. Right, because mm-hmm. like, I was I was looking at a bunch of stuff already. And I was like, ah, I just need to just relax and stress myself out over this thing that's myself. And uh, so I went and I checked the. I I, I was looking at that. Uh, I think it was I think it was I think it was the first one, the Moss Man one. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was the Moss mm-hmm. Man one. Because there, there's, and I looked and I saw and I saw the back and I saw like I saw the trees and I was like, it's just black, and he did some white squiggles. <laughs> Yeah, you just got to communicate right. with those trees okay, there. It's okay. not like anybody's gonna be staring at it, right? No, because because I would put I would put white. I'd have like the regular white, and then I would try to like just draw like my sticks or like my tree shapes. But yeah. I was like, it just it seems like it's blurring at the front. And I I, I it's, a, it's a black and white book, and it just looks it looks more confusing when I do it. And I was like ah, but then when I saw it was like black, and you cut it with white, I would, I was like. Oh my god! I'm just gonna draw background trees for everything. They're not going anywhere. Right? So, <laughs> it's in a forest. Like, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna be in the forest forever. I'm gonna draw all my comics in the forest. Yeah. Right? Right. So, so, so it was, it was, so that was, uh, like I still did, I still did my, like I, I, I still did like a couple of the, like the, like that mid, the mid ground trees, right? But then, yeah, in the end, like, I can, I can put it in black and cut out the white and I was like absolutely I was like this is this is so good I was like, well I was like, I'm gonna if you want another again. tip set the next one in the in the desert yes <laughs> 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 well there, there, there's some deserty stuff here later yeah um, they do they do have to end they do have to get out of the trees somehow so they're yeah they're, so they're kind of hitting uh they're hitting the edge here there's like you can see is this like the sea yeah, it's like it, mm-hmm. it, it's like it's like a cliff, it's like a cliff beach thing. Right. Uh, that, uh, that page on that that page on the left was uh, that was a, uh, an, a, an an Ali Fraser swipe. That first panel on the left. Oh uh, yes, I can yeah, see it now. Fraser with uh, Fraser with the big hook, and like that yep. was one of the first. That was one of the first pictures that I drew for for the book but i didn't know what i was going to do with it so I, I drew it first did a whole bunch of other stuff and i was like oh if you were allowed to do a backhand in boxing maybe that would have worked and yeah then, so, then, so then so then i just started uh messing around with that and i did realize i was like oh uh i also i also like the look of tibetan clouds so i'm going to put that in there because i don't have an editor and i totally. this is my right yeah. and then you can see like a little bit of toronto ish skyline in the sure back. yeah i have to put the cn tower there in a little bit uh, we're building up intensity here yeah that page on the right i really like being able to do because i don't usually do long vertical panels vertical panels yeah i did say to myself i have to do a long vertical panel because i haven't done long vertical panels so this the whole book was a project of me just saying, okay, I haven't done this yet. Let me do this. I'm yeah. good at, let me do this. Uh, and I think that, I think that goes work for everyone's new book, right? I think everyone's new book is like, they're trying to do something a little bit different. I don't think, I don't think there's anybody, at least anybody that like I talk to that wants to just do the same exact thing all the time. I think they want, if if you're trying to get better at something you're you're trying to do things that are a little bit difficult right uh, every time every time you have to yeah if if you don't then you know, like if you don't then you have to accept that you're going to you're going to be the same and i'm you know, i'm okay with failing i'm okay with doing stuff that sucks sometimes like, like if i'm not going to be if i'm not going to be great at it right away that's fine i'm uh like I'm comfortable with failure, but I'm I'm not comfortable with like not trying at it. You know, yeah. like, like not 
and it's yeah. no i absolutely get that yeah. uh, i wanted to make a uh, one of my favorite parts about these pages is like is is drawing smoke that was one thing i like smoke and dust i was like ah that stuff's hard yeah but then uh, being able to draw what's uh like behind the smoke and just and like like you just like dash it out right you, you throw the dashes in where it goes when i realized i could do that i was like uh i think i i think i did that a, i think i did that a lot when i realized oh i like this effect just like yeah the, just like the the the, the tick lines on impact the tick mm -hmm. lines on impact i think i I think I, I'm pretty sure I stole that from you too. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was I think you're doing you're doing a a pitch a, a pitch or something. It was the one with the round library, the the, the, uh -huh, the, yeah. the round space library. Mm -hmm. Someone got hit. Someone got hit, and I think I looked at that picture where like you just dashed it out, and I you stole that from some other man manga that you showed us the reference to, where the guy was like doing some Wing Chun stuff, and I was like, yep. oh, that's cool too. I'm gonna steal that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that that one little piece of conversation uh, got me stealing a lot of stuff. I, I, you can I, use smoke's a great way to um, show movement too, because you know the smoke's going to swirl and move as the as the arm or the leg or whatever yeah. goes through it, you know, and it can it can show that like a, a trail behind it, that's, and you can show like like the three moves before it just through the smoke movement. Yeah, uh, I really like that the the wind up on that uppercut on the that first panel on the right yeah that's great yeah. That, that, that was fun. that was i i like because like like that it's such a cartoon move right oh yeah it's, like nobody really winds winds up that punch like that no but it's there. comics yeah it's so it's i was, I was like i needed i don't like i don't want it to be all real because if because reels I want it to make sense and I want people to be able to follow it, but I don't like, I don't particularly like just real. It's like, no, you got to strike like, a balance. I like, I like the fantasy part, right? I mm -hmm. like believable, fantasy, right? It's, uh, uh, that, that's my favorite. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're just going. Yeah, I like that sure you can there. Uh, now he's, he's beaten down. Yeah. Yeah, and this. And is so my... he's got his. He's got his stone, and yeah, he's got his. It's stone, and it's uh, and it's all like, it's all like he touches it, and it's all like memory stuff. It's yeah. This is this is training montage, a la. Uh, uh, this is my. This is these are my my Rick Lopez pages. Like yeah. If you've ever read, if you've ever read the power, and he's got like. 10,000 panels on a page or something. Uh -huh. uh, the way I drew this one was I knew I wanted it when I when I knew I wanted like each each guy to have uh, uh, so like, so Vaughn is the tree and Burad is the fox. Uh, I wanted to make like I wanted to have them have these pages. So what I did was I I drew that center that centerpiece and then kind of like laid out the panels yeah. and drew the center guy laid out the panels and i like i then i just worked on the rest of the book and i was like okay i need to put this part in uh, i need to have a i need to have a silhouette panel in here okay uh i i need some splits in here um uh i want to do i want to do like kung fu movie with the buckets thing uh i want to do sure right i want to do uh ryu at the end of street fighter uppercutting the the, up, the uppercutting the 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 waterfall like, yeah all back a whole bunch of stuff over like uh, uh, every yeah, kung fu no. montage ever and uh yeah, <laughs> everything, everything so i have my my three panels of slow and then it kicks back again and right that page on the right that's my that's my uh the jesse lonergan page and it's uh there's just a uh, like because, like I said, like I like doing panel-y stuff. Yeah, like, he does the motion the swipes stuff through, with, 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 like the swipe through with the panel stuff. I was like, I was like, I at least to ha need to have a page of that. So, like, I know maybe stylistically this book might 
take some it might take some people out because the pages are are off but i think because every page mm. is already already off it's like eh. and uh the the page on the left so like i found uh when cuz when i do those uh those 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 elsewhen bootlegs mm -hmm. when i think those elsewens i actually started doing it because i wanted to see what i could do like in terms of like uh in terms of like proportions like like proportions it's just 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 drawing like basically john bernie kind of stuff but yeah what i found what i found i really picked up was he does this really cool thing of making panels like fit and fall into each other yes uh like really well and i i'm trying to i'm trying to look back at like i like like older X-Men's and stuff that, that he did. And he didn't do it as much there, but I guess maybe it was a little bit, a little bit weird and too, uh, too cutting edge at the time. Yeah. Right. But I, when I'm looking at the else ones, it's like, he's really just stretching and like really doesn't care. And is like, Nope, this is going to work. This is going to work. Sure. And the way he like fits and let stuff drop in. So, uh, there was a lot of influence of that kind of stuff and and just backgrounds. It was uh, the benefits that I got from doing that were not the benefits that I thought I was going to get from doing it. Yeah, right? sometimes uh, that's so, how it works. Yeah, it that's, that's exactly what it was. So it was actually really cool to to think about. All right, I I I, I got I got some new stuff down. Right, I got some new stuff down, and yeah, I, that's always fun to play. And then I got that. I got that. That 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 bow staff spinny. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Just pummeling each other. Yeah, and then this, and this, and this is where it is. That's that's where all the the ballpoint is. All right. Those are all. Those are all scanned in. All right. This is a total. Jerome Cabanatan yeah. layout. This is this oh, yeah. every this is you. To me, this is you. Yeah, that's that and that that's kind of what I made. Like I knew I wasn't sure if I was gonna make I knew I knew the last I knew I wanted the last. It was like it was my 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 shout out to the IGD crew, right? It was uh yeah, it was like I said I said I want to finish the fight. I want to finish the fight with Whoa! Like with three, like three, like three grid fight pages, right? I said yeah. three grid fight pages. That's what I want to do, and that's when I like towards the end. That's when I kind of decided. I was like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do these ones original because I want to have some kind of original stuff in there. How come you didn't do it with uh, Edge of Sketch? Huh? That's I guess that's the next book. <laughs> yeah. You know um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pop some up here because you're an etch a sketch master. Like I've seen, nobody can use an etch a sketch like you can. But <laughs> that's another that's all that's for another episode. Oh yeah, I I need like I need like I need like Spin Master to to like to come get at me so I can do like the history of etch a sketch on an etch a sketch. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, and then they come down, you know, uh, and. Uh, you know, yeah. bow yeah, to so, each other at the end. Yeah, uh, so, they, so what it is, it's uh, so they have their, um, so they're 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 colliding their their own keystone. So like his keystone pop, you know, he like he sucked it into his body earlier, but he's got it out. You know, he, he's got his bracelets, and they're they're smashing together. But uh, you know, when you're the, I knew when I was making this book i knew how i wanted it to end and the whole thing about ending is like you know when you fight someone it's it it's one of the most intimate things that you can do with another person right it, it, it's one of right um, yeah right <laughs> uh, but like you're 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 fighting them you you know who they are and it's uh you'll under you understand their you understand their stresses their fears uh uh, you know their insecurities, uh, their yeah. their their things that they're confident in. Like you, 
you see you see another person in a different way when when they're when they're your sparring partner and uh, mm -hmm. uh, that that's what i wanted this whole thing is like they were rivals but then as they're fighting and they're continuously fighting and they're not giving up as they go you start realizing with each other that it's like it's like no there's there's something more here and that's what all these like other bubbles are so like the the like that that those that fourth panel down with all that thought bubbles i don't it's not very clear on who's who's thinking what, right? Right. Who's thinking what? They're yeah. both thinking the same thing. And then as they're fighting, you can see like there's there's like the other rocks, like the other like the other rocks and stuff. Like it's like that whole Dragon Ball when there's two things that are fighting, and you see like those rocks popping up, right? yeah, they're popping up, and that that that's what's happening. And then they come to that realization: oh shit, they're like no we're supposed to be like like this this is what makes us strong right and uh, they realize and then they bow all the rocks drop and then it's time to wrap the guy up and then they'll go they'll climb back up the mountain together and they climb up back the mountain together and then the the dog the master guy right the, his mongo it's like what's going on and then okay we got something for you right and then then that's that's how they meet that's how they meet back and there's other stories that i have from here right the, mm -hmm. that I have from here that that can work but i try to make it as self-contained as possible and yeah look i drew a turtle right. yeah yeah uh i usually i think in every in almost every book in at some point i will draw a random turtle and a random <laughs> spider or like oh yeah turtle. Yeah, a random turtle and a random spider because those are the those that's the, that's what got me right that right that, that's yeah. what got me it was, it was the turtles that got me and even if I like X Men more than Spider Man I don't know X Men unless I know Spider Man right that, that's right and so I'm always trying to give back that kind of stuff there oh look here's your here's all the cover variations right here yeah right right there. Right there. So there's that original, and then there's that Rick one. There's there's my son's favorite. There's that Chris one. There's, right. There's Craig Misi and Kevin Anthony Catalan. So amazing. Yeah. So cool. I'm glad, man. That I, glad that I glad that I got you guys when uh, right when you're when when you're within uh, when you're within striking distance because like when when y'all blow up, I'm I am grabbing onto everybody's coattails, and I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna <laughs> I've, 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 I've told everybody, I like you guys, you guys go make it, make your star shine bright because when it comes, when it comes down to it, I'm like, like I'm like, I'm water skiing on all the coattails. Like I'm, 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 I'm there. <laughs> all right, man. Right. Well, you know, I'm going to do the best that I can. <laughs> <laughs> no, you will, man. I know you will. Um, well, this was awesome, man. So, where can people get uh, Tree versus Fox right now if they wanted uh, to grab it? Uh, Tree versus Tree versus Fox. They can uh, they can go to uh, crowdfunder dot com uh, slash art of J Rome Cab, or you can just DM me, and then I can I can I can I can, I can always give everybody that information. I'm not that hard to find. There's uh, Jerome Cabanatan is a uh, pretty it's a it's a little bit of a rarer name than, than chris anderson it's no um, yeah it's no chris anderson I don't, think, I don't think i have to put comics behind it <laughs> this time <laughs> name, but uh well i don't yeah. want them to you know mistake me for like the 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 uh the editor-in-chief the former editor-in-chief of wired magazine or you know the basketball player it's very easily easy thing that you could mistake me for so yeah, yeah. don't i just yeah, look like a basketball know, player those same neck tattoos as birdman so <laughs> yeah um well awesome man. and then you have a patreon too yep uh do that i update it every wednesday with with whatever it is that i'm working on so whatever the whatever stage of the development is i i just kind of have it out there for uh for anybody that that's that's willing to see and i'll talk about the uh, i'll talk about whatever is on my mind dur during that process and uh and uh, you'll get like handmade books. Like uh, uh, I do love making, uh, I do love like hand making the books. So like, even Tree versus even Tree versus Fox. Uh, I go to I go to a local printer. I go mm -hmm. to a local printer, and like he was like uh, he was asking like he's like okay, so I'll 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 set it up and I'll do all that kind of stuff. But 
I think for this for the first print run, I I did tell him specifically. I said I said no, don't staple it, don't fold it because I want to do this whole print run myself, Lena. And mm-hmm. that was that was one of the things. Uh, it would that's just a personal thing, and I uh, I think for as long as I can, I want to be as personal as possible, right? Uh, and like yeah. every pack, every package that I give out for anything always has something extra and a handwritten note or or whatnot like if it's if it gets if it ever if i'm ever like too big to do that then that's fine i'll i'll take it i'm not gonna i'm not gonna feel bad about it but uh for as long as i for as long as i can i like i want to be as 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 mom and pop shop uh for as long for as long as i can and uh if it if it comes if it comes down to you know okay throw some McDonald's on there, then, you know, I'm not going to cry about that either. But, you know, if, like, while I'm here, if I can still write you a handwritten note, I'm going to, I'm going to write you a handwritten note. If I'm going to give it. you a sketch, I'm going to give you a sketch. That's, that's, I don't know. I would, I would rather do more. I'd rather do more now. Right? I would rather do more now for less um, than so, like, when it's later, I can do less and then get more. So, uh, yeah, that makes sense. I'm, just, I'm just trying to, I'm trying, just trying to, uh, try to, uh, just try to play that cosmic game a little bit, you know. Yeah, I yeah. hear you, man. Um, and then uh, the 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 um, the Kickstarter for the new book uh, drops when? Uh, I'm looking to drop it November seventh. I'm looking okay. to drop it November seventh, and uh, it'll go on. It'll go on until uh, December eighth, I, I think. So okay. Uh, uh, cool. That, that, that's what I'm looking at, and uh, I'm pretty sure people will hear about it. I hope because I'm gonna be pumping it out because that's how Kickstarters work. Totally. Yeah, that's that's the name of the game. And then they can find you on uh, Instagram at Jerome Cab. It's over your head right there. Well, it's, this doesn't really work. Right to point. Yep. And um, and also on the ticker tape. So um, pretty easy. To find and I also put I'll put all the uh, all the links for you in the show notes too. Sweet, thanks, man. Awesome, dude. Well, thanks for stopping by and thanks for sharing this book. It's really rad, and uh, I hope people pick up the uh, next book on Kickstarter too. Thank you. Uh, thanks, thanks for having me. Uh, it's a blast. So uh, whenever we do any more stuff, okay, I'll hop back on. Awesome, man. All right, we'll talk to you later, Jerome. All right, peace out. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my Patreon, where at the $3 level, I'll send you my sketchbook, The Sketch of the Masters, uh, and at the $5 level, I'll send you the sketchbook, plus uh, my mini stories, Not uh, Man Nor Beast But Moss, Stench of the Sea, and The Voyeur. Um, At the $8 level, uh, after a year, you'll get a commission. Don't forget to sign up for my newsletter in the show notes. Check out my store, where I have lots of original art, And you can also uh, buy books uh, like Lost Angels, a sci-fi YA adventure about a girl who has to solve a mystery in a crashed alien city. Spectral, a showcase of fear, is about a sinister puppet master who travels from town to town telling tales to children who may never sleep again. You can request a commission at any time just by contacting me. Here is a list of the upcoming conventions that I'll be at at the time that this video was released. And uh, don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the video. Again, thanks for watching.